lately, I've been feeling car sick. Not when I drive, when I watch other people drive here at our rehabilitation center. We've got five awful motorists under our care, and seeing them go through our tight little courses here, it really makes me feel nauseous. Ah! Ah! Our poor Rolls Royce, our Corvette. This is Canada's worst driver. Of the final five nominees for the unwanted title, Canada's Worst Driver, would be in our rehabilitation center if they had just learned how to correctly handle a car in the first place. In Regina, Mike Butt learned to drive from his dad. Believe it or not, my dad taught quite a few people in the neighborhood. Mike was nominated as Canada's worst driver by Jody, his brother-in-law. Do you notice you're driving the bike path? Yeah, but have you noticed there's no bikes around? It's kind of scary to think that Mike's dad taught driving to anyone who wanted to learn. There's a whole, whole generation of people, <laughs> bad drivers, <laughs> that graduated under him. From Richmond, Ontario, Father Giles has put a lot of miles on since his formal training. In high school, I took driving lessons, but that was years ago, 1966. Since then, driving culture has changed. But Father Giles hasn't. Sunday driver. He, Father Giles' younger brother, nominated him as Canada's worst driver. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday driver. And Saturday. <laughs> New Canadian, Arun, learned to drive by watching. Well, no one actually taught me how to drive. Um, pretty much, I've seen uh, other people and my friends driving in India. I had my own car, so uh, I learned how to drive um, by just, you know, hit Hit and miss. When Arun moved to Canada four years ago, he paid for driving lessons. But I didn't feel very satisfied because I was it felt like I was just paying a lot of money to learn nothing. He didn't like him, so he quit the lessons, married Santa, and continued driving the way he always did. What are you trying to do? Huh? Go back. Whoa. What the hell? What are, you, are you even watching? In Charlottetown. Do you think punk rock Jacob ever got lessons? He was nominated as Canada's worst driver by Stacy, his girlfriend. I actually took driver's ed and paid like whatever it cost, like multiple hundreds of dollars to take driver's ed. The lessons certainly didn't teach him respect. <sighs> Don't need to stop if you just look. I took driver's ed when I was 16 because I wanted a car so I could drive on people's lawns and rip up their grass, basically. In Sudbury, Angelina has a driving certificate. I, I got, I went to, uh, oh, I went to driving school, too. <laughs> Did you really? I didn't yeah, know. I went to driving school. Why do you guys find that so laughable? Christine knows that her best friend is out of touch with her car. Oh, I'm going. Angelina has never even learned how to put gas in it. What the f Every Monday, the father of Angelina's boyfriend picks up her wheels and fills the tank for her. Christine, did I break it? Yikes! Helping bad drivers is important to the security of the nation. 
That's why this year the Driver Rehabilitation Center is located at an undisclosed military location. Throughout their stay here, Canada's worst drivers have received basic training from Peter Mellor, a lifelong lover of cars. I'll show you how it works and you're going to be really surprised. When the nominees learn their lessons, both hands on the wheel, look ahead, they run through challenges. Four gear! Four gear! Four gear. Look where you're going! Four. Oh, oh. And Peter watches their every move alongside psychologist Dr. Luisa Gambora, former Ontario Provincial Police Sergeant Cam Woolley, and our high performance instructor, Philippe Letourneau. As part of his day job, our high-performance instructor, Philippe, teaches good drivers how to do some pretty intense maneuvers, like a skidding 180-degree turn while in reverse. Next, he'll teach that technique to Canada's worst drivers. Why? Well, so they can learn that car control is still in their hands, even while they're skidding seemingly out of control. To do this maneuver, reverse at 30k an hour, release the gas pedal, and then steer. Quarter turn. Crank the wheel the other way. Quarter turn. Slow. Crank it the other way. Quarter turn. Swing the steering the other way. The quarter turn makes the vehicle unbalanced. The full turn whips it around. Okay, so look for the cone. Yeah. Father Giles follows Philippe's instructions and... Swing. He succeeds on the first try. That's what you said to do. Eventually... Let go the gas. Oh, yeah. All the drivers learn this quarter turn, full turn maneuver. Here we go. I was hot doing this. All right, for the challenge, it's the exact same thing with the added pressure of doing it inside this confined area. At 30k an hour, a quarter turn one way and a full turn the other will result in a controlled skid. Here we go. Okay, going back, steer, 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 and I'm in the box. Whoop. Oh, I just made it out. <laughs> just making it is making it. Now let's see how Canada's worst drivers do. Mike should reverse at 30k an hour, but he's so nervous. Mike goes way too fast, and instead of starting with a quarter turn, he overdoes it. Okay. Not okay. Watch my run again. At just 30k an hour, a quick turn to my right unbalances the car. And then a bigger turn to my left makes the vehicle's nose do a controlled swing back towards the wall. Mike drove 50k an hour instead of 30. At that speed, his first oversteered jerk of the wheel made him immediately spin out in the wrong direction. Mike's next attempt is faster and worse. What the hell? How did I do worse? Mike consistently speeds and oversteers. What the hell? On Mike's tenth and final attempt, I remind him to slow down. The result? Mike needs to slow down. Mike always needs to slow down. <sighs> Jacob explains the steps to Stacy. Turn a little bit this way and then crank it that way. Instead of a little bitty turn to get unbalanced, Jacob oversteers. <laughs> the 
small turn was too large. It was too large? You, you didn't do a small turn. You turned a lot. I turned too much. Okay. Okay. Quarter turn will do it. The stress is confusing, Jacob. This time he stomps on the brake pedal. I don't want to uh, let my emotions get the best of me. Jacob's emotions do get the best of him. See, now I'm starting to get pissed off. Jacob never once spins the right way. I know how to do it. I just don't know what I'm doing because I'm starting to get pissed off. When this turnaround challenge concludes... What did I do wrong? We'll see if Canada's worst drivers know where their wheels are. I never know where my wheels are. Canada's worst drivers have all learned how to do a spinning, skidding turn in reverse. Quarter turn. Swing the steering the other way. Now, they're showing us how well they've learned it. Father Giles is next. Father Giles drives the right speed. 25, 30. But he's not quick enough on the wheel. Not quite as I anticipated. Before coming to rehab, 30. Father Giles was afraid of reversing. Is that okay? Now? Believe it or not, I'm starting to like this. Father Giles is reversing. 25, 30. Deserves two thumbs up. <laughs> Father Giles is ready to rejoice. Hallelujah. Holy smokes. Arun knows exactly what to do. 30. Oh, shoot. How come you always know exactly what to do, but you never do it? Arun knows he shouldn't hit the brake, but he does. 30. 30. I'll do it. In the end, Arun never does it. I'm... I'm 99% sure that I'll be the next graduate. If I'm wrong, then I'm the one after that. I'm not the worst. Angelina learned this maneuver at 30K an hour. But on the challenge course... Tell me 50, tell me 50. 50. Angelina can't remember the correct speed. Is it 50? 50. Oh, oh my God. 50. She's consistently too fast, taking her hands off the wheel, closing your eyes. Oh. Oh, oh f what the f What did I do wrong? Angelina is a hands-on learner. That's fast enough. That's fast enough. But she's a fast forgetter. Go. Now. Bingo. Oh. That is a perfect reverse spin. Oh, thank God. Angelina needs constant tutoring. I like to learn things. And you know what? I swear, you know what? Show me and I will see it. Tell me and I will hear it. And follow me and I will understand. And that will be my new motto. Knowing where your wheels are is a very important aspect of driving. If your wheelbase is too long, well, you just won't be able to make a sharp turn. That's why trucks always take wide turns. Do Canada's worst drivers know where their wheels are? We're about to find out. To show us they know where their wheels are, 
Drivers have to stay on this concrete course without letting a single tire touch the sand. I just drive along carefully, slowly. Jeez, I was told this was difficult. Well, the back sliding into place. That makes it even easier. This challenge in the grand scheme of things is fairly easy. But how will Canada's worst drivers do? We're about to find out. That's too easy. Arun also thinks it looks easy. Yeah, I think I can do it. I don't think it's hard. But when he drives onto the course... Oh my god, I'm already on the sand. He drives off the course. Whoa, what is this? When drivers touch the sand, Whoa. the run is a failure, and they have to start again. Okay, here we go again. Here we go again, all right. Which view was it that slips? The last one. On Arun's next attempt... <laughs> Don't flip the car. Oh, his wheels are headed skyward. Ah! Woo! Oh no. Luckily, Here you go again. Santa is figuring this out. Don't go too much. She understands that for the rear wheels to follow, maybe a little more on my side. Corners have to be taken wide. Okay, stop. Watch the last part slowly. Slowly. Oh. Did you just do it? Oh my Let's god. Yes, I did. Santa knows she is who really passed this challenge. So I thought I was in control of the car. Yeah. When we come back, the Know Where Your Wheels Are challenge concludes. Can we touch it? Canada's worst drivers are showing us whether or not they know where their wheels are. Woo! Oh, oh. By driving along this concrete course. Angelina's next. I can't even see. That's why you're supposed to know where your wheels are. When things go bad for Angelina, she often lets go of the wheel. Oh. Oh. Scary. Angelina's reversing is also scary. Ah! Okay, don't tip over, don't tip over. Come to think of it. Oh my god, I can't do this, we're going to tip. Everything about Angelina's driving is scary. You have to oh, I'm tip on my side now. <laughs> what the Did we touch it? Oh. <laughs> What did we do now? I quit. Angelina thinks rehab is for quitters. How did that manage to happen? Father Giles is next. Okie dokie. Godspeed, Father. Godspeed. Okay, and I'll turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Am I off? Father Giles is over the edge of his skill limits. Oh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, hold there. on, hold on. Father Giles never takes the turns wide enough. You're off. Well, I'm off. Back it up. Back it up. Ugh. Don't worry, you're not gonna you're not gonna go over the edge. Actually, oh, oh, oh. Father Giles goes over the edge. You know where your tires are, right? No, I don't. Father Giles never hugs the outside edge. For some reason, he has trouble. He doesn't want to hug. That's a good attempt. <laughs> a good attempt. Easily frustrated, Jacob is next. I think I'll be able to do it. 
That's what they all say. Uh oh. But on his second run, it's like a roller coaster. Jacob drives around the course like a train on a track. He's done with no problem. What do you think? I think Jacob might graduate. Well, I'm graduating. Mike Butt is our final driver. I never know where my wheels are. One's on the sand immediately. Mike's second attempt is the same as his third and his fourth and his fifth. And people actually did this? Okay, flawless. Flawless. No, no, no. no. Oh. Mike is never flawless. I still can't believe any human being could do this. When we come back, a new sport hits prime time. Shopping cart hockey. Ah! Oh man, a toy! Ah, hell! Mike Butt is terrible going slow. But he steers surprisingly well at high speed. And that's how you do that. When I met Mike, he said his speed skills come from pushing shopping carts with cars. I actually got one up to 100, 100 miles an hour, not kilometers, but miles an hour. It's a game where you push the cart towards a goal. Then you just hit the brakes and just watch it continue. And the better driver you are, literally the faster you can go with it? Yeah. If pushing a shopping cart made Mike butt talented at high speeds, maybe it will work for all of Canada's worst drivers. We should make that a challenge. Awesome. We call this challenge Shopping Cart Hockey. Mike is the shopping cart hockey expert, but it's my job to introduce every challenge. So, brace yourself. Hi, I'm Andrew Younghusband. Driving at high speed in a perfectly straight line never really happens. In order to drive in a straight line, drivers must make constant zigzag adjustments over and over again. To see how well they make these tiny adjustments, the next challenge for Canada's worst drivers is something I like to call shopping cart hockey. For shopping cart hockey, we've got a minivan. Authentic shopping carts. And a goal. Andrew. <laughs> Mike. Welcome to shopping cart hockey. Nice outfit, by the way. Thanks, I dressed myself. To understand shopping cart hockey... Let's see you go. It's best just to see it. Mike stick handles the slippery cart. Oh, it does want to get away from you. Yep. But he doesn't look as talented as he claimed to be. Oh! Oh! oh. It's my turn. I'm going to start slow. I want to understand this. Holy cow, look at that. Yeah, I see it. She'll run. She'll run from you. Regular glances up the road draw you to the goal. And concentrating on the cart focuses your steering. Come on, come on, come on. Hook, 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 hook. <laughs> you know what? I think this could be a great challenge. You have to be smooth. Um, you have to have great eye-hand coordination. That really is a good steering lesson, actually. When Mike goes again, he seems to have regained his bragged about brilliance. But I'm gonna break right about here. He's off by a hair. Oh, oh, <laughs> on my next try. Oh, oh, she's running on me, but if I can push her back. I get the cart under control and. Yeah, oh no, you're gonna get a goal. Go I beat Mike Butt. 
at his own game. Thank you, Mike. Now let's see how Canada's worst drivers do. Angelina is first to push the cart. Here goes. One, two, three. Oh my god! Angelina accelerates smoothly. You're 60, you're 60, you're 60. And she looks headed for success. She shoots. Oh, she misses. After a few more hurried attempts, Angelina starts to lose focus. I wish I had some ice cream. And when Angelina's focus goes, so does her steering. That one just f***ed up. Drivers get 10 breakaways on this challenge. Where they gotta center this bad boy? On Angelina's final attempt, she stick handles well. Oh my god, this is intense. But instead of breaking to shoot, Angelina passes the cart. It's like some tropical force. This challenge isn't rocket science. I think it's just science. I don't think it can possibly do that. Good thing we're on Discovery Channel. You heard it here first. Angelina failed this challenge due to... Physics. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's science. We'll cover the rest of the shopping cart hockey action in our highlight reel. Arun's wife mocks this. Spoik. And Arun mocks the laws of physics. The captain of the math team is convinced he can beat this cart into submission. And you're sure that's easier than putting it against the bumper to start? Yeah. All right, you're the mechanical engineer. There's bad ways to start, and then there's this. Then, a near injury when Arun wants to get out of his minivan while it's still in reverse. Put it in park! Put it in park! Oh, shoot. Arun never scores. Jacob's next. I'm just gonna get on it. There's nothing smooth about the captain of the PEI Funk Rockers. He steers like a chimp hopped up on caffeine, and he misses the goal seven consecutive times until he blasts a ringer off the post, then clangs another. And then the controversy. Jacob celebrates a goal. Yes. But he's not allowed to cross the white line. After video review, the goal is disallowed. Yeah, I must have went over the line. Jacob never scores. That leaves Father Giles to break the shutout. I think it got a little faster than that. But... Yeah, yeah, but... The cart gets away from him, but Father Giles manages to keep it under control. At this speed, though, how will Father Giles shoot? It's just gonna be like little dribbles, of, like when you piss at the end there. Yeah, but... In the last few meters, the father speeds up. Go faster, go faster, go faster, go faster. He shoots! He scores! <laughs> father Giles! Had a winning game plan. I wanted to control it, and then at the very end, and it went in. When we come back, Canada's worst drivers reverse a trailer. The other way! The other way! The other way! The other way? It's time for one of Canada's worst driving facts. With an ordinary driver's license, you can hop into a big, powerful pickup truck and pull a trailer that's actually pulling another trailer. Madness! But it's perfectly legal to go out in a 23-meter-long double-jointed caravan. And guess what? Doing that is exactly the next challenge 
for Canada's worst drivers. Before anyone pulls two trailers, our expert Peter will explain how to drive one trailer focusing on the mind-bending task of reversing. In order for it to go left, you're going to have to turn the steering wheel to your right. To make it go one way, you turn the truck the opposite way. See how, how you've got to steer and think opposite? Yeah, that's yeah. kind of hard. Yeah. Getting the trailer too far out of alignment is called a jackknife. We're going to jackknife if we do this. Once the trailer begins to jackknife... How come it's going the same way no matter which way I turn the wheel? There's only one way to correct it. We need to go forward a little bit more. Oh, is that why? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Yay! I hey, got... it worked! For the challenge, we've added a puzzling second trailer. Down the road is a clearly marked turnoff directing me towards campsite number six. She's a bouncy road. We're having the bad drivers pull two trailers to show them that much of safe driving is remaining calm and solving problems. Here we are at campground number six, so I'm going to get out and look at this. This challenge is basically a riddle. Drivers have to figure out the smartest way to park the truck next to the entrance, the big trailer in the middle, and the small trailer in the farthest corner. I decide to loop my way around. Okay. When I get fully looped around, I'm forwards of where I need to be. But I have no intention of reversing two trailers. I got a better idea. That small trailer is small. I'm going to unhook it, and then I'll only have to reverse one trailer. We taught reversing just one trailer because reversing two isn't safe. This is the problem-solving part of the challenge. I hope Canada's worst drivers have enough sense to do this. So there goes that. Ooh. Easy to reverse a single trailer. You can just correct and correct and correct as you go back. I've gone back enough. In fact, I'd say I'm done. Getting done took me six minutes. Now let's see if Canada's worst drivers can do it. Arun is up first. Arun drives safely past the campsite. Then... You gonna back up? Uh-huh. He jackknifes the small trailer. And the big trailer. Rune's got a double jackknife happening here, and he's just giving it more gas. Small one is not even running. It's just sliding over the wheels. One of the things he wants to do is buy a trailer and actually go camping. Santa understands how to get the small trailer properly in place. Just take it off and park. But Arun pulls forward to try again. All he does, though, is create firewood. Oh, oh. <gasps> oh my God. What are you doing, oh my God, for? Whoa. I didn't stop, for God's sake. <laughs> How do I get out of this place? This was not here when I got here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> He's done a few thousand dollars damage here between the corner of the trailer, the awning mount, the bumper. And most frightening, the propane tanks. Whoa. <laughs> oh, it's embarrassing. I'm done. Arun needs to reflect. What am I supposed to do now? Think about how bad you are. Father John will now pull two trailers. Oh, oh, I don't like that. To get to the campsite, oh. he directs his brother, the father, get to the side. The whole way. Follow me. I am. This is what we're seeing here is really good teamwork. It's Guy who figures out the puzzle. Unhook the small trailer, wheel it here. Okay, so go through that again. Unhook the small trailer from the back, we'll wheel the small trailer here. Here. 
Okay. Okay. So we take that one off. Yeah, this is an easy one. Hey, got it? When the coast is clear, Father Giles pulls the large trailer into its spot, facing the opposite direction of the small trailer. When the large trailer is unhitched, okay, this one. the truck pulls sideways into its mark. <laughs> non alcoholic. Non alcoholic. Father Giles has all three things pointing different directions. But it's good. They're all where they should be. Angelina was taught to only drive one trailer. But when she gets to the campsite, she tries backing in both trailers. Like, the trailer is vertical or horizontal. Going back. Hey, stop, stop, stop. And forth. And back. And forth. And back. Whoa. Straight. Angelina makes no progress. Christine finally realizes what to do. I think we should just unhook it. But. Angelina won't listen. Let's see how heavy the trailer is and we'll push it. We're not pushing the trailer. Actually, she is pushing the trailer. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Angelina gives up. Stupid trailer. Oh, I didn't turn the car off. I keep forgetting to do that. Jacob drives quickly to the campsite. Oh, pretty good. Mm -hmm. But is he smart enough to lift up the trailer? He's not. Can you get out, hon, and direct me a little bit? Yeah. And I will try to stay patient. Stacy doesn't know how to drive. I don't think I can help. So she can't predict Jacob's jackknifing. Okay, it's all sideways. Okay, that was a little late, babe. After six identical tries, I don't get this. I sit in with Jacob. So it's a problem solving. What did I tell you when you started? I told you to get it in there the way it's marked, right? Yeah. Jacob never figures it out. That's that. Mike Butt starts great. It's pretty easy. Then he sees the parking configuration. Oh, what the hell's up with that? There you go. I'll tell you, you have to have them. Oh. Jody drives a trailer at work. So he knows how to deal with the second trailer. That's not the point, you know? But they said that we can get it in there. They don't care how we get it in there, as long as it's in That's there. That's right. They did say that they don't care how we got it. Okay, let's do her. Jody gets the small trailer in place, and okay. then the big trailer. Okay, stop. Now turn the other way. All the way? Yeah, keep going. Okay, stop. Whoa, whoa. Mike wants to thank Jody. If I had anybody else besides Jody helping me out, I probably wouldn't have been able to do it because, I mean, he did really spoon feed me the entire time. When we come back, someone graduates. The nominees for Canada's Worst Driver are all getting worried that they might end up in our final episode. I certainly don't want the label Canada's Worst Driver. I mean, that's definitely not, not a title that anyone wants. I don't know when the heck they're going to let me out of here. If I'm Canada's Worst Driver, I'm moving to live in a treehouse in Brazil and drive a bicycle all day long. Now it's time for the five lousy motorists to tell our experts why they feel like they should be allowed to graduate. Do you deserve to graduate? I thought I was doing better, but... Is it your time to graduate? 
Honestly, probably not because I still um, am fairly nervous backing up. I think I'll stay. I think this is once in a lifetime opportunity for me to learn. I think it's good for me that I stay. Father Giles does want to leave. Do you deserve to graduate? I think I've learned so much that yes, I, I'm, I'm quite ready to graduate and to put into practice all the wonderful skills that I've, that I've been taught. Punk Rock Jacob also wants to leave. I feel like I'm ready to graduate. In terms of actual motor skills, uh, you're right there at the top of the group, but that anger thing just gets in the way and ruins it. But I recognize my shortcomings and I'm working on changing them. There are two potential graduates, Jacob and Father Giles. It's time for one of them to go home. Who is it? Jacob's skill level is, is uh, simply better. You know what? I don't care how much skill somebody has. If you can't control your emotions, you're a grenade. You're a grenade waiting to go off. Absolutely. I agree with that totally. I think Jacob is safer than Father Giles. Father Giles came into the show with uh, one basic problem, which was the slowness. Now, we've corrected that. I, I just think Jacob is more ready. He's got the physical skills. Giles is a nice guy. He's come a long way, but... Objectively, Jacob wins. What's worse, a driver with anger issues or one with slow reactions? It's a, it's a fine dividing line. So uh, we've I, got to I, make the decision. You and, know what? Uh, yeah. I don't think it's a fine dividing line. It's a full-blown stalemate. And caught right in the middle is the man with the tie-breaking vote. We've reached the end of our sixth episode here at the Driver Rehabilitation Center, which means it's time for someone to graduate and hit the road. Father Giles, Jacob, it came down to you too this episode. And Father Giles, I have some bad news for you. Our experts all agreed that Jacob just has better skills than you. Sue. So, you must be very curious as to why I'm giving you back your license. Yeah. <laughs> you are who they would rather share the road with. Isn't that terrific? It is. Congratulations, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Before coming to rehab, Father Giles couldn't back up. Well, for heaven's sakes, am I close there? And going forwards, he couldn't drive the speed limit. Are we there yet? No, not yet. Oh. Under our guidance, the priest is now a confident high-speed reverser. <laughs> and going forward, 80. 90 to the floor, Father. Oh, it's 90. to the floor. That's 100. He can now go the speed limit. I know. Actually, I'm going over the speed limit. Right now, I'll take back my comment. He's no longer a Sunday driver. He's an all-week driver. And I have to say that this has been a great experience, and I wouldn't have traded this for the world. <laughs> Father Giles has enjoyed so much success in rehab... <laughs> The rest of Canada's worst drivers give two thumbs up to his graduation. Cheers, Father. Well, Father. Next episode, someone else will graduate. Then in our final show, someone will be named Canada's worst driver. Oh, hang on to your bridges. This is going to be a bad one. On the next episode of Canada's Worst Driver. Sorry. We go off-roading. Oh. Yikes. Oh. Tilting. Tilting. We revisit the Know Where Your Wheels Are course in reverse. <sighs> and we teach the skills needed for a high-speed swerve and avoid. Sack. 
the world's only daily science show with Jay Ingram and Zaya Tong. Daily Planet. Coming up next. Only on Discovery Channel. Residents flee an Australian propane explosion tomorrow on Destroyed in Seconds. Time Warp features snakes, sumo wrestlers, and spring-loaded stilts. Tomorrow, 